Hello everybody, my name is Andre Jolliker. I made a texture pack called Jolly Craft for Minecraft that looks like this. Um, in the last video I posted, I showed you the basics of the construction of a texture pack. So now I'm going to show you specifically how to make um, a certain type of texture. And that texture is the seamless texture. If you look at this patch of sand right here, obviously since sand is always surrounded by other sand, the edges of the sand, top and bottom, left and right, need to match the edges of the blocks beside it so that they kind of blend into each other and don't stick out and have obvious uh, seams along the edges. It can be a little tricky and I'm just going to make a quick simple texture just to show you uh, the method that I use to make my seamless textures. So um, let's dive right into our sample texture pack that we were working on. Test pack, there it is. So I'm going to open my texture packs folder testpackterrain.png I'm going to open with Photoshop I already have it open uh, let's do a cobblestone just as a test here Cobble cobblestones are always nice and easy um, in Photoshop you uh, can actually there's this cool technique where with the marquee tool you can choose a fixed size and you can set that to 16 by 16 so that every time you select something it's automatically 16 by 16 which actually really helps in this seamless texture creation which I'll show you in a minute so here we go. I'm just going to start with a very basic uh, texture here. So I have a 16 by 16 color block. Let's add some uh, some stones to it. It's cobblestone after all, so we're just going to just going to draw some crude stones. Now remember, whatever goes off the left side of your uh, little texture has to come on on the right side. So if I have this stone here coming off the left side, I'm going to want to have it peek in a little on the right side. Same with this one. If I have this one going off on the right side, I'm going to have it peek in on the left side. And same with top and bottom. If I, for instance, have a piece of stone coming in uh, from the top, I need to have it coming in the same place on the bottom. There we go. Okay, this is going to be my basic cobblestone. So let's see how it looks. I'm just going to duplicate the layer and put it side by side. And then same again, duplicate it side by side. I'm going to zoom out. All right, that's pretty good for a first try. Um, but you can see when you um, finally make it seamless, you can actually see where the edges are. Uh, things kind of won't feel right to you, uh, and you can further tweak them. So here, I'm just going to soften out these stones right here. There we go. This section in the middle looks pretty good to me. Now, you don't need to do it with all four pieces of this texture. You just need to do it to one little section. That's what the beauty of this uh, automatically selecting 16 by 16 is about. I can just edit one little area, select that 16 by 16 area, and there we go. It's become my new seamless texture. And I can select any 16 by 16 area within this because that's the way seamless textures work. They're all 16 by 16 and I can literally take any 16 by 16 chunk of this and it will work as a texture. So I find it's best just to choose a good uh, area that uh, will look good on its own and as seamless. So let's go with that right there. Let's see how I did. I'm going to put this over the cobblestone and merge these layers and I'm going to save it. Okay, now in my test pack zip, I'm going to replace it with the new terrain that I just edited. And let's see how I did. There's test pack. Let's dive in. And we're going to make some cobblestone. Oh, that did not work. Why not? There it is. My new cobblestone and that crappy sand I made in the last tutorial. There we go. It's looking pretty seamless, I think. So that's the basics of it. You just want to make sure that um, when you stand back and look at a, a huge chunk of this one texture, that there are no obvious areas where um, you can see an edge. And if there are, you just do this technique of just tiling it and softening any edges that you want, and then taking a 16 by 16 chunk out of that and turning that into your new texture. And you kind of have to go back and forth between the game and your photo editor, but eventually it'll come more naturally to you and you get pretty quick at it. So I hope this helped you, and good luck. Enjoy!